Hey there, how are you today? My name is Dana Damara and you've landed on AstroCast. This is your weekly forecast for the week of April 3rd through April 10th. So the theme this week is the word focus. And this is why I wanted to call out this word. First of all, I checked to see if I had uh, called this out recently and I haven't. And I think it's important to note, there's a few things happening uh, this week. One that I want you to pay special attention to is that all planets are in direct motion. This doesn't happen all the time. It doesn't happen, well, well it happens all the time, but it doesn't happen um, for long periods of time. And right now we've got all the planets moving direct until April 29th when Pluto goes into retrograde. Now it's important to note that Pluto is in its shadow stage, so to speak. It's such a slow moving planet, uh, but it will go retrograde full-on retrograde, uh, April 29th, and Pluto is the planet of transformation, right? Empowerment. So from now until then, we have some opportunities for complete awareness and focus on what it is that we desire, right? Now, I would say about seven or eight years ago, a good friend said to me, Dana, distraction is becoming the newest addiction. And I was like, what are you talking about? This is when cell phones first uh, came out. So this is <laughs> kind of dates me, but it's a true statement, right? And I also, from that moment in time, remember reading an article how uh, we actually pick up our phone 150 times a day without thinking and with no reason behind it. There's also a statistic, and this has nothing to do with astrology, but everything to do with everything. There's also a statistic that we have about 90,000 thoughts a day, and we only take about 21,000 breaths. So our thoughts are in consistent motion. And when you start to pay attention to the thoughts that actually distract you, you would be surprised at how many times you're actually distracted in your life. And what I want at the end of my life is I want to be able to say, wow, okay, I focused on the things that I really wanted, right? Oh, I remember those moments in time when I was distracted. I remember this, I remember that. But for the most part, staying focused here in your heart is what's really important. Now this week, we've got Mercury, Saturn, and Mars all pretty active, right? And if you remember, we just had this new moon in Aries, uh, four planets in Aries, three planets in Aquarius, okay? For those planets, the sun, it's actually a star, sun, moon, Mercury, and Chiron. So Mercury, uh, Mercury, Saturn, Mars all want you to move forward with your plans, especially when we're talking about being on that tail end of the new moon Aries. New moon Aries is all about starting off a new year, a new beginning, a new paradigm, whatever you want to call it. So you can potentially feel this like, whoa, I feel it. This is amazing, Right. Saturn's going to hold you to the truth. You know, Saturn is sandwiched in between uh, Mars and Venus, the masculine and the feminine. Let's hold ourselves to the truth, right? And Mercury is going to give you that intellect to actually make sense of what it is that you desire. Now, my invitation to you is to not bypass healing because Chiron is... Chiron will let you. <laughs> Chiron wants all of us to experience a sense of healing. But we also don't want to put our plans on hold until we feel fully healed. I don't really know if that's a true statement, right? Um, we're always healing. It's a spiral universe. We're consistently moving and growing. And here we are. All the planets are forward. <laughs> so it's time to take some action, right? So those projects you've been working on, those um, things that you've said, like, 2022, I want to do this. I want to go here. I want to, you know, practice this. I want to heal that. Do not be distracted. Put your focus where your heart is. <laughs> and, you know, when you go to pick up your phone, ask yourself, am I being distracted right now? Or is this really something that's on my radar? Like be super hyper aware of the things that are feeding uh, your dreams, 
it for lack of a better word. And I want to say this, um, and I, I wrote this in the caption too, distraction is the new drug. Absolutely not advisable, especially, ready? Since on 4-12-2022, Neptune and Jupiter conjunct each other in the sign of Pisces. This is creating a magical moment that hasn't happened since 1856. So I'm going to do a whole um, video on just that, okay? But there's massive opportunities right now for freedom, for love, for oneness, for unity, um, for us to be able to actually realize our dreams. Um, but we have to, to be focused. Don't allow yourself to be over here. Over here is gone. <laughs> um, so I think that that's all I have for this one. I, I could go on and on and on, but I, I want to save uh, some for this uh, Neptune and Jupiter conjunction uh, recording that I'm going to do here in just a little bit, post in a couple of days. Um, I do want to give you all the retrogrades. They are listed in the caption. But in case you don't want to read it, here we go. Ready? Have a pen. Because once April 29th hits, we have everything going into retrograde. They all take their turns every year, right? Pretty much every year. Pluto, April 29th. Mercury, May 10th. Saturn, June 4th. Neptune, June 28th. Jupiter, July 28th. Uranus, August 24th and Mars, October 30th, okay? So those planets will come in and out of retrograde. Big thing to note, beginning April 29th is when everything starts to kind of go a little bit backwards up for review. So put into motion what it is that you want and stay focused on that and that alone. All right, any information you want with regards to your chart, or how uh, any of this energy can be harnessed by you in particular, feel free to reach out to me at danademara.com. I love reading people's charts. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's so eye-opening. And I just started a course in human design, which has been like bulbs going off. Um, thank you so much. Have a beautiful day. And we'll chat or see each other soon somewhere on this path. Mwah. Take care now. Have a good day.